Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's like you never left because I literally just hit the stop record button and then hit the start record button. <laughs> Still wearing the same shirt. <laughs> All right, so you came here to figure out how to beat Terradome X123. Well, I think I can help you with that. I was a little bit scared for the free to play at first because uh, throughout the day, uh, I know those content creators that put their videos out really, really quickly. Uh, some of them struggled to get through it, but I'm here to help um, because uh, a team did kind of uh, come out of the woodwork. Um, actually, two teams came out of the woodwork throughout the day. Uh, you don't need Dominic to do this, but Dominic does help. So in this video, we're going to go over the new uh, Sincer Pfft, Teradome. I'm going to make that mistake. Uh, X level 1, 2, 3 that came in the patch today, April 27th, 2023 for Eternal Evolution. Alrighty then. So, um, here we go. Um, the, uh, the rundown. So, in the X stages, basically it says reduce all non-crit damage to the boss in all difficulties, but it increases the crit hits, right? So, you want characters to crit hit just like the Idar boss in the Katosian Triangle. So, in all X levels, the f the force field is enhanced. Now, it says it blocks the use of charge skills. Now, everyone was a little bit concerned. Uh, the only real characters that it is uh, really hindering us is Taylor and Nord. Nord cannot get into the shield unless he leaps into it, and Taylor cannot get into it unless he leaps into it. Uh, both characters that are high crit, high crit damage. Uh, Leo, he can just walk into it. A character is not prevented if they can just walk into the field. So as such, you need melee characters. They changed the description of charge and added it onto Leo's kit, added it onto Mooka's kit. Both characters can go into the shield, although both characters I wouldn't recommend bringing into this fight. So, enhances the barrier, which we just said, in X2 and X3. So, in X2, uh, the ranged of stone... The ranged stone spirit is replaced by angry spirit. Uh, deals area damage to targets around. Okay, so what does this mean? So we all know how Terradome used to work. After you get him down to 30%, he pushes you out and you got to kill the, the three little stone spirits, right? Or is it four? Three or, three or four. And then you go back into the circle and you kill him. Now, uh, in X2, uh, you're going to have to kill an angry one. It's the same ones that are in the Idar boss. It's going to sit there and dance, you know, screenshot that, and uh, send out pulses of massive damage, right? Okay. In X3, Barrier Breaking Trial, which is when he kicks you out and you got to come back in, it's acts, it's twice. It's at whatever, 66% and 33%, right? And then the Distant Stone Spirit, again, is replaced by an angry spirit dealing area damage targets around. So you gotta you gotta survive that twice in X3. So in X1, uh, no angry spirit, right? So not too bad. In X2, wait, in X2, you get the angry spirit. And then in X3, you get two pushback phases, two angry stone spirit phases that you gotta get through. Okay. All right, all right, so that's basically the mechanics of this fight. Now, this is my medium account. Before I show you some footage of me just autoing this thing and then showing you a team that will work in um, X3. Um, in When you first beat X1, it's going to give you this. Now, this is a special box, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, don't, don't just click on something random this box if you pass x1 has a red thorn which is a obscenely hard to get uh, i don't recommend getting that though because it also has a vision stone get vision stone get it now vision stone even a level one is very good for the energy pvp team get this get this get this get this get this okay x2 is going to give you this which is the summoner it is the baby ruler's ring this is very important if you don't have a ruler's ring and you don't want to have if you don't have dominic you're gonna have to run a summoner we'll talk about him later that you're gonna need this now these uh extra prototypes that uh that are basically weaker copies of exclusive red prototypes can you can only get them in x one, two, three levels. You cannot get them here. It is not on here, right? Not on there. Uh, I'm assuming that the drop rate is really low. I think I ran 30 times, 30, 35 times today in Terradome X3. I got one 
of the one copy of the new prototypes. Okay, but then if you get down X3, you it, and and only in X3 do you have the chance to get these. These, ladies and gentlemen, are now the most sought after and rarest resource in the game. This is basically a gene hybrid for prototypes. You can use them on yellows. Don't do that. Uh, but they will basically act as a copy of any red prototypes. You just have to get one copy of a red prototype, be it from Twilight Lands or Summit. I know Summit's really difficult, but you have to get one or one of the Gamuzo's Bells. Uh, but then you can get the shards. Uh, the first time you clear this, you're going to get a whole one uh, to upgrade your selected uh, red prototype of choice. But then going forward, you're going to get about one shard per 10 runs is what I found on average today, which means you're going to have to run this thing 600 times to get one of these. That is a long time. I think this is much, much harder to get than Gene Hybrid. Okay, so before we go look at some footage, I haven't tried it on this account yet. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. This was my old team, but obviously, boom, he's gone. Uh, and I do have to check the gearing on one character. Okay, bear with me. I probably don't have him ready. I sh I'm unprepared. He's not even hyper-evolved. Yes, he is. I got you now. Mooka. Mooka is going to be really important to you guys here. Uh, yeah, definitely want to get rid of all this, uh, this, this gear. Let's see. Do I have him? I gotta take him up to X20. X20 is a small sacrifice since this is really exclusive gear. You want him in X20. Now, sorry, I should have been prepared for you guys. Vigorous HP. I, this is the new system. I love the new system. Thank you, developers. Okay, we're, we're just gonna grab some stuff really quick. So, forge all that. Boom, boom, boom. You want all vigorous gear on here. This boss cannot crit, so that's why you're not going to want to run extraction. Now, we want... I love how you can just switch like this. This is really, really cool. All right, we uh, that's got defense. That's got HP crit. We definitely want HP. Yep, yep, definitely want HP. Uh, Mooka wants attack, which trans uh, transfers into HP. Uh, HP and uh, damage reduction. So, we're going to do this quick. Now, we can go... Uh, we want HP and attack, ideally. Found one. And damage reduction. Wow, we hit the mother load. Okay, boom, boom, boom. So, I was using Zeta at first, and Zeta works really well in this fight. But if you don't have Zeta, which a lot of you probably won't, uh, Mooka does the trick. He really, really does. Damage reduction. Uh, okay, let's just try HP. Here we go. Uh, 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 whatever. Crit damage, crit damage reduction. He's not going to crit that much. Okay. And boom. Please let me have talents on him. Ah, crap. All right. If I can just get X1 down. Actually, I'm going to want the talents because he's that good. Okay. Well, we're going to try running like that. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Well, let's go back. Here we go. First try. First try. So... Get him out of there. Um, the other tanks aren't that good. The reason why Zeta is nice is because she has a big old self heal. Uh, you really, 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 really want people that can help, that can heal themselves. And uh, Muka can't really do that unless you're running a ruler's ring. Uh, which, if you can get past X2, you will get like a cheap copy of it. Even if you can get past X1, um, then you can run this over enough times and eventually you're going to get the weak copy of the ruler's ring. So we're going to want a Gabal. Uh, two ultimate on you, but it's the best one I got, so we're going to use it. Okay, we're going to get rid of Daniel. And there is a comp I have seen with Daniel, Rickert, uh, Daniel, Rickert, Bailey, and Randall. Uh, just those four and Moz. I've seen that work, but that one is very, very RNG dependent and hard to do. I don't recommend that one. This one is easier. Uh, the only problem is, is I got Bailey at legendary level. And you're going to want Praying Eyes. Let's see. I do got it. There we go. Okay. So, these are the prototypes you want to run. This is the commander you want to run. This is the team you want to run for free to play. This is the team that uh, I can beat it on in X3. But, caveat that, my Rickert on my main account is X30. My Bailey's X30. Randall is X20. 
Mukas X20, Moz's X30. Now, on this account, I think uh, Randall or uh, Bailey's only X10, Randall's X20, Moz is X30. I don't think R Randall's X20, and Muka, as you saw, is X20. So I just want to see, I just want to get down X1. Um, you do have to run Moz on manual. So let's try this. I don't know it's going to work, but I'm hoping it does. Because this is the team that I want uh, you guys to be able to make use of for X1. Because even X1 is difficult. So let's get rid of this damage meter. I'm hoping that my record at Immortal 1 is enough to punch out the damage. And you know what? It looks like he's going to be. So you're going to have to want to play Maz on manual. Um, and the... And I should say that one of the reasons why Mooka is so good, let's go like this, is because of his summoned adds. So, the boss, you have to have four people in the circle at all times to mitigate the damage. I do believe it's on his kit somewhere. I heard somebody read it. Um, Mooka is going to bring three adds to the table with him. Uh, so, he's going to very, very effectively tank this. Plus, if he's caught in the frontal cone with his summons, he won't die. Um, there might be a little bit of RNG with... Uh, person pl hero placement on here where you might lose somebody you might have to run this over again but as you see I already got him down to 89% and all I want you guys to be able to do is just get down x1 just get x1 work on x1 for a while till you get those other um, middle slot prototypes built up eventually so I'm that's why I'm hoping that this will work for you I'm trying to highlight that even this budget team can make it work the thing that I'm concerned about is my um, Muka dying, which is why you have to put this on manual, Maz on manual, so that you can always get Muka with the heal. Now, on my main account running Muka, my Muka is basically always self-healing because I have a level 4 Ruler's Ring, which you're going to see in the footage. Uh, but um, this is probably the best, the best example that I can show you guys that are maybe free to play or that don't have Muka. Um, how this works. Everybody else is on auto. The only one you really have to control is Maz Rani. Now, if I can make it to this phase, I do. Don't die, Muka. Muka, just jump out of the way. Thank you, buddy. I love you. I love you. Now I should be good. Now I should be really good because I can heal everybody up through this phase and get them ready to start over again. Remember, in this phase, there is no angry spirit. You won't take any splash damage. In in phase two, this guy back here is going to be an angry rock spirit, and he's going to hurt your team bad. But I am really happy, really, really happy, ladies and gentlemen, you saw this work. Because this is just a, a team thrown together. Like I said, Bailey. Here, I'm going to pause that. I'm going to move my head. So Muka is like, le is like immortal zero, it looks like. Uh, Maz Immortal 0, Randall Immortal 2, my Rickert is Immortal 1, but Bailey is Legendary. Just Legendary 0. X10. So, keep that in mind. So again, now it looks like my Maz is up here. Let's heal everybody up. Good to go, ladies and gentlemen. Muka is a rock star once again. Uh-oh. So, so Muka's going to get caught in this unless he jumps. No, he jumped. Down she goes. Down she goes. Ladies and gentlemen, that is X1 in a nutshell. I'm not going to show you X2. I am going to try this team on X2 after. But I don't want this video to go too long, so we're not going to run that. We're going to go right to the footage now of uh, at X3. So, but wasn't that cool? Muka, man. Muka. Just just random gear. Just pulled the gear out of my butt. Not even fully talented. And away he goes. Okay, so this is X3. This is on my main account. And I do believe this is going to be what it looks like when you're uh, running the Dominic team. So, this is the initial team I ran. This is not the, the ideal team. Um, the best comp that I have found, if you have Dominic, is take Zeta out. Take Zeta out, put that Muka back in, move Moss to the midline, change this. This is not the right prototype. You will always want probably Praying Eyes. If you have this, this is the Ruler's Ring. This is what I was saying that helps heal Muka, keeps him alive. If you don't have this, you're going to have to run um, X1 
show you again. Or X, you're gonna have to be able to beat X2. You're gonna have to run X1. Let's see if you can get the new prototypes here. You can, okay, you can, you can, you can, you can. You have to run X1 enough until you get this. So I will show you at level six, 20% of the damage received by summoners, AKA Muka, is distributed to his summons. You need this to keep Muka alive in the higher stages if you're gonna run him. And I know if you don't have summoners or the ruler's ring, the red prototype, this is the one you need right here, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, beat X1 until you get uh, enough of those. If you beat X2, you will get given one of those, okay? All right, so keep that in mind. So this team, like I said, Muka, um, you're going to want to run Praying Eyes. And then this is a full auto team. So uh, I guess I'll run it through to show you some of the mechanics. As you see right now, he has two break points on his health bar. So he is going to go through two of those phases where he disappears and he summons his adds. And you've got to kill the adds. The problem is going to be, and this kind of does highlight Zeta. Uh, she takes a lot of damage, but she can heal herself right here. Boom. She can kind of keep herself alive, but in my opinion, she's not as good as Muka because of Muka bringing the adds to the table. Now, this is the damage phase. See right here, they changed it. This guy up here, he's a gremlin. A little, little gremlin. You know, these other guys, you know, they're, they're just, you just gotta kill them. But this guy up here, watch my, watch my da uh, health bars on my characters. I'm gonna take a butt ton, an, a metric butt ton of damage through here. As this guy starts pulsing. Yeah, see, boom. Boom. Just wham, wham, wham. Luckily, eventually, Rickert and the Assassin are going to come here and they're going to kill him. But if you don't have a good Rickert or a good Dominic, that guy's going to do a lot of damage to your team. So you guys get the point. That's pretty much all of the mechanics right there. You just got to do this phase twice. But this is a full auto team. So now... I want to show you guys the Muka comp at X3 with no Dominic. So this is going to be if you don't want to pull on Dominic, if you luckily, since we just had a return to Giant Tower with Rickert, uh, if you have your Rickert and your Bailey at least built up, you can beat X3 without Dom. But this team, keep in mind, keep in mind this team. And I think I switched this out for a ruler's ring. To help Muka. This team, my Rickert is X30. My Bailey is X30. Uh, my Randall is X20. Now, Rickert and Bailey are both in Marauder gear. That is also very important because Marauder gear brings life steal, so they can help keep themselves alive. That previous footage, all three SSS assassins, Dom, Bailey, and Rickert, they were all, all three of them in Marauder gear so that they could help mitigate the load of, from uh, so that you don't have to bring in two healers. They can kind of help self-heal themselves. So this is the non-Dom team. Um, this team is going to be on full auto. Yeah, no, switch that out. So that's the right one right there, Dialer. Okay. So this team, um, just like you saw me do X1 on my other account, this is is full auto except for Ma's healing. Now, I'm going to let this one play through. It's only three minutes and we're only 18 minutes in and this is how we're going to end the video. But this is going to highlight how sketchy this is. So you see, you're going to play it the same way. You're going to manual all of Ma's heals. And you see Mooka's got two adds and the boss is killing the adds. See the wolves? He's killing the wolves right now. He just took a pot shot at Randall. Now he's going back to Mooka. And let's see if Mooka eats this hit. He does. See that? Muka just ate that hit and didn't budge. Uh, so those, all those summoned wolves in the circle are going to help keep the rest of your team alive because they're going to um, basically distract him and, er, you know, he is going to hit your other heroes, but he will attack the wolves as well. Okay, here comes the damage phase. Now, I don't want you to watch what's going on up here. I just want you to watch the health bars to see how hairy this is. Now... Again, yeah, keep in mind, my Muka, this Muka is fully tricked out. He is Immortal 5, Hyper Evolved. Not as high as my other account, unfortunately. He's only at level 5, but he's built and he has more optimal gear. I took my time with this Muka. Now, watch the amount of damage that these guys take during this phase. 
So big old heal to get them up. But now boom. Boom. Maws is... Uh, you know what? It seemed like bigger when I was doing it. Maws, Randall, Bailey. They all got down to about half. So, you know, you know, I, maybe I exaggerated a little bit. But um, it's still... It, it doesn't feel good when you're in it. Um, luckily, my uh, Immortal 3, or I should say Hyper Evolved 3 Rickert um, helped out here. I do not have the X talents on Rickert, by the way. He just has the full main talents. Uh, and that's the fight. So, fairly easy. Fairly straightforward. But keep in mind, it does require... At, at the minimum, guys, um, just... To do this, X3, which is the tip of the spear, I think you're going to have to have characters as... Maybe not as good as mine. I think you could maybe get away with uh, at least an immortal record if he's X30. An immortal Bailey um, could do it. Um, I would recommend Marauder gear on them to help with the life steal. You do at a minimum need, I think, for X3 uh, an an X30 record and an X30 uh, Mazrani. I think you could probably get away with an X20 um, Bailey though. So yeah, this is the fight. It's all poor wolves, poor puppies died. Uh, but uh, this works uh, very well. This this worked very, very, very well. And actually, I thought I did I sped this up. Oh, yeah, with, with Dominic on here, I was able to speed it up, and I got the diamond reward. So that's the team, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you don't have Dominic. So we showed you Dominic. Uh, we showed you just a off-the-cuff X1 run, and then we showed you the X3 no Dominic run, unless I already said that, but whatever. So, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope this helped. I think that I did... I hope that I did enough testing the day to, to help you guys out because I know the people are struggling with this one. So, um, I, I hope you all have Mooka. Uh, I know I have used Mooka in the past throughout this game in other game modes to tank. And uh, this is this is Mooka's time to shine. Um, yeah, of course, it's the, some, it's, it's the Assassin show. But in my opinion, in my humble heart, it's the Mooka time to shine. So, the word of the day... Today, for this video, is going to be Werewolf. Not by night, but Werewolf. Put Werewolf down in the comments. Let me know if this helped you. Let me know if this worked for you. I hope that you can at least get done uh, X1. Just so you can start getting the, the new prototypes. So that you can work your way up to X3. But now you know where to go. Um, definitely, it's kind of tough. Um, you got to work on your Rickert. You got to work on your Bailey. Um... You should all have Mazrani up if you're reaching this level of content. And uh, you got to uh, put some stuff back into your Mooka. All right. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, werewolf is the word of the day. I will thank you profusely if I see that since, uh, yeah, 23 minutes. All my videos are like 25 minutes, I swear. Catch you in the next one, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Peace. Bye-bye.